Hello. This video is about the idea of stillness. Stillness. What does that mean? Stillness for me is something about just arriving in that center space where no matter what kind of chaos and turmoil is happening around, there is a space of quiet. And in that space of quiet and stillness, the world can be going completely crazy, but underneath there's a space of being okay. It doesn't mean that you don't get involved with life, that you don't experience the emotions of life, but underneath those emotions, there's a sense of stillness. And that's where we want to get to today. So once again, I'm going to have you Close your eyes and get comfortable, and we're going to do a visualization. So you may be seated, or you may desire to recline back, or even lay down and just listen to my voice. And once again, begin just to connect to your breath. By connecting to your breath, you're connecting to what is present. And the way to get the most present is by feeling what's happening inside of your body. So observing your breath, observing that movement and noticing, is your heart beating fast? Is your breath shallow? Or is it not? Noticing if you're uh, feeling tightness in any area of your body, if you're Slightly lean forward, slightly lean back. Is there any tension in your jaw? Relax the jaw if so, and in your hands, forehead, knees, shoulders. Just notice any tightness and see if you can relax it. And as you connect to that breath, also just checking in with your physical state and noticing, do you feel tired? Do you feel energetic? Do you feel heavy or light? Are there any other physical sensations that you can notice in your body? As you're noticing this, also check in emotionally how you're feeling. Maybe there have been some events happening already today or in the last few days and that have kept your mind occupied along with the emotions involved with that. I don't want you to go too much into the story with your mind, but I want you to just notice emotionally how you're feeling. Are you feeling content, sad, slightly irritated, anguish? Stress, frustration, overwhelm, excitement, anticipation, anger. Just notice what feelings are there, and there might be more than one. There generally are. And just letting yourself be okay with the fact that those feelings are there. I want you to think of a moment or situation in your life that feels a little bit tumultuous. It might be, you know, maybe it's a small situation, maybe somebody uh, slightly irritating to you, or maybe it's a bigger situation. I want you to draw that up now into your mind. And as you think of that situation, I want you to maybe imagine the person who may or may not be involved. I want you to imagine the, maybe a space where you're at, imagine this actual situation happening. I want you, as you're imagining that, I want you to also notice that some sensations in your body might change as the emotions are triggered. You might feel some tightness in your in your solar plexus or in your chest. You might notice your heart beating a little faster. I want you to just notice what's happening. 
And as you imagine those sensations, I want you to also kind of imagine that if your body was to make a movement or like a metaphorical posture of what's happening for you inside, what would that look like? And if it's hard to imagine, start with where you're feeling the tension inside of your body. A lot of people it might start out with in the chest or in the solar plexus or maybe even in the shoulders and I want you to just go into that area, maybe move it a little bit and just see if I took that position or that space and kind of exaggerated it, what kind of posture would that make? And I want you to hold it for a few seconds. As you're holding it, or maybe for someone else it's in the sternum and you're rolled forward, collapsed. Maybe it's something else. I want you to just notice the sensation as you're exaggerating that posture. Perhaps the discomfort that arises and perhaps this intensifying of that emotion as you hold that in your body. And just noticing how that might be slightly augmented and also just how uncomfortable that feels. And just noticing any other feelings that arise as you do go into that position a little bit more exaggerated, a little bit more ample. And I want you to release it. Let's take a few breaths because I know that's hard to do sometimes. Take three deep breaths. As you exhale, just releasing it. Each time you inhale, imagine that you're just letting your body open up again. All those little contractions, those tightness, those tight areas, releasing them. And each exhale, releasing it. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do something different. I want you to close your eyes once again. And I want you to find a place, a situation in your memory, or even it can be even an, imagine, an imagined place or situation where you felt a deep sense of peace, a deep sense of tranquility and stillness. It might be an image Perhaps you're looking, for example, at a, a flat sea in front of you or a, a pond. Perhaps it's sitting on top of a mountain or in another space that you know of or that you're imagining where you just feel a sense of peace, tranquility and stillness. And just imagining that and trying to get that really well visualized. So maybe imagine the colors you're seeing around you, the imagery, maybe even some smells or the sensation of the wind on your body. It might even be a taste in your mouth, smells, any sort of sensations that you can see, feel, imagine. Just bring those in. And as you breathe that in, I want you to notice the relaxation setting in into your body. I want you to notice physically how your body feels as you're imagining this place. Do your shoulders relax? Is your chest open? Does your body feel lighter? Just continue to observe any physical sensations that you're noticing inside of your body. And once you recognize those, how do you feel? What are the emotions that are present? Are you feeling maybe joy? Peace, tranquility, ease, flow, connection, integrity, mm. awe, 
the sense of beauty. Just noticing all those different emotions that are rising as you're in this place. And as you observe both the physical sensations and the emotions, I want you to take on a, metaphys um, a metaphorical posture of what that feels like inside of your body. And if you were to do a metaphorical posture, what would that be? You know, maybe it's your arms are wide open. Maybe it's just a sense of grounding, standing with your feet. And if you'd like to, you can actually physically get up or stand up or just make that position with your arms. And just take that position for a few seconds. And if for some reason you can't get up and you don't want to do it, just imagine it really vividly in your mind. And taking that in, just noticing the feeling and what other feelings come once you're in that posture. For some people, it might be a sense of sadness that arises. Perhaps you don't get to experience this feeling very often. Perhaps it might be something else that arises. A sense of resentment. You know, all these different memories can trigger different subconscious thoughts and relationships to those situations. So just observing what's there. And as you take on this position, this posture that embodies and identifies for you the space of tranquility and peace, and just hold on to that position and breathe that in for a few seconds. Okay, I'm gonna have you release that. And finally, what I'm gonna have you do is we're going to go once again into uh, the visualization. This time you're going to go back into that situation, this recent situation that felt a little challenging. Sorry to have you go back there, but we're gonna try and shift it now. So I want you to remember that situation. I want you to just Visualize being able to bring in a sense of stillness and a sense of quietude. So by going into that situation, I want you to go back there. Perhaps you have that, uh, that, that kind of icky sensation that, haps, that happens, right? Again, maybe that posture is coming back. That those emotions are arising again. So I want you to go in there, but instead of allowing yourself to go fully there, I'd like you to go back to that posture that you had where you felt a sense of stillness and tranquility and imagine that posture, breathe it in, maybe even remember the imagery of where you're at, allow your body to open and imagine that you're walking into that situation the one that felt tense, that felt emotional. And I want you to try and hold that position of tranquility and stillness. To be able to try and hold that posture, what that posture looked like, maybe it was a sense of opening. And stand in that, in that challenging situation, holding on to that posture of stillness and tranquility. If you need to ground, grounding, taking a few deep breaths, and just standing in that situation and connecting deeply to that sensation of tranquility and stillness that you found in that other posture and in that imagery. And notice what comes up for you. And notice if in this position, would you change anything about the way you're reacting to that situation? Do any words of wisdom come through this self that is connected to its stillness and its tranquility? If that posture that has stepped into this emotional situation, if the stillness posture came in, what message of wisdom would it tell you? What message of wisdom would it have to say in that situation? Let your higher self and your wisdom 
draw in a message for you. I'll give you a few breaths to just allow that to be received and to come into your body. And finally, you're going to thank that part of yourself, that wiser, still sense of self for the message or any wisdom that came through. And you're going to leave that situation, the emotional situation, take a few breaths. So this posture that you came up with that embodied the sensation of stillness and tranquility is a great resource to be able to draw on when you're needing to reconnect to that space within the tumult, tumult, <laughs> the chaos of an emotional situation and ask that part of yourself, what would that part of myself say? What would be the wisdom that comes from this wiser part of me. So hopefully you'll be able to practice that and looking forward to meeting with you in the next session.